Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, I've just watched Middlesbrough versus Manchester United at the Riverside. That took place at 12 o'clock. Um, obviously, it's only just finished. I'll just want the game. Um, I mean, credit to Steve Agnew coming in and you know doing what he needs to do. Personally, thought he had a good debut. We all knew the strengths of Manchester United, even though they had players out. You know, Man United are a, are a class act. Whenever they want to be, and they can turn it on whenever, and that's exactly what they did today. Um, let's talk about the match. So let's break it down. Team selection uh, for me was a bit off. To why Downing started um, ahead of Traore. Oh, I should have gone Ramirez, Negredo, Traore. Nah, that's just for me. Anyway, the game started how it started, and we looked good. First five ten minutes, we came out with it. We came out with like an attacking threat. We took the match to Manchester United. We had a few good chances in and around the penalty area, which uh, Manchester United defended well. Uh, Rashford got in pretty early on with a great save from Valdez. I think if he would have put a foot or two higher, he probably would have gone in the back of the net, but that's not taking nothing away from the save. It was a great save. Um, and then a bit of a, a few more chances and whatnot has gone. But then when their goal came, I don't really know, how it, I don't really know what happened to the, to the whole defence. The ball gets played in from the left-hand side. Ball comes over the top, Fellaini attacks it, puts it straight in the back of the net, 1-0 Man United. But let's break it down. When the ball comes in, I think we had two or three Borough players surrounding Fellaini. The guy still manages to leap up and put the ball in the back of the net. I don't know how that happens. Fabio, for some reason, is jumping in like mid-air trying to catch the ball. That's not coming anywhere near him. So, obviously, we're 1-0 down. We had, um, it's, not, it's not looking good. So, we're going at half-time, 1-0 down. I'm still feeling positive, to be quite honest with you. I think everybody else, I don't know how everybody else was feeling. But I was thinking, let's give Steve Agnew a chance. He's, you know what I mean? Let's just, let's just see what he can do second half. Second half, no changes are made. Uh, we come out, and their goal, their second goal for Manchester United, Jesse Lingard, they're nothing away from the strike, but the strike should have never been given because our defence was an absolute shambles. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why Barahan... And Espinosa decide all of a sudden to do the 100 meter sprint and go back towards Valdez. And really, they should be spinning around and going after Lingard. Lingard just runs and runs and doesn't stop running. And then he sort of just like slows down, looks at them both, and the ball running back into the box, not even running towards the ball. He has a shot and it goes straight in the top corner and he goes and does a little daft celebration in the corner. And we're 2 0 down. And now the game looks out of sight, it looks well and truly over. Game over. Um. Yeah, Guste comes on. He's like not even that. He's not even like match fit at the minute because he went off a hamstring injury last week. Comes on, literally does his hamstring within seconds. He starts touching his hamstring again. Anyway, that gets strapped up, and then 70 minutes, 75 minutes, the ball drops to him in the box. We get a goal back 2-1. Right, great game on. The game's all of a sudden comes to life again. The fans are on the Borough side again. Then what happens? And it's I do feel sorry for Valdez because he had a great game. He really had a good game, and he never really puts a foot wrong. Never, he rarely this season I've seen him do something that's like not professional. So the guy, ball comes back to him off a uh, off their uh, downing, goes to clear it, but like stutters and then goes to clear it again. He slips over and Antonio Valencia puts it in. Now he runs away and he's got egg on his face. And then Mourinho, being a guy that he is, shows no real class. Starts going friggin' ballistic, runs down the tunnel celebrating. Doesn't even shake. Agnew's hand at the end of the game just doesn't just doesn't bother just didn't bother coming back out to shake his hand and all the commentators on the TV were saying you know do the right thing come out and shake the guy's hand he's just got a new job nah nah absolute class from Mourinho though like class that mate absolutely amazing but you know what I mean it's it's annoying it's annoying that's another defeat but we knew of Manchester United's strengths before we went into the game and given that they didn't have Pogba Rooney Ebra in the team didn't really make a difference I thought when it went 2-1, I thought that we could have created a few more chances and a few more goals. I think a few people were appealing for a penalty when um, when the grader went down the box. I'm pretty sure it was Phil Jones that grabbed hold of him. Um, to me, it didn't really look like anything. It just looked like a little tussle and that was about that. Um, but that was it, you know. It, was, it wasn't it wasn't like the greater games. But we scored a goal. So that's a positive because we, actually, we can actually score goals now. Obviously, the next game, it's an absolute dogfight. It's Swansea. You know what I mean? Today today we needed a point. Today we needed a point. But, um, 
I'm still going to believe, even though I don't look as positive and I'm really lost for words after each and every game. I still believe that we can stay up. Because given the team we've got, I believe we can stay up. And next season, we can improve in the summer. We can improve on our team and really go places next season. But no one thought it'd be easy. It's going to come down to the final day. Liverpool away. Um, but in that, we've still got very, very, very tough games coming. Like I say, got Swansea. After the international break, and then you've got Burnley at home, we're down there. You've got Chelsea away. I'm not looking forward to that one. Arsenal at home. I mean, West Brom beat them, so we might stand a chance. And then you've got uh, Liverpool away final day, and it's it's kind of like these games, they're not being pretty to us. They're not being pretty to us, these matches that are coming up. Obviously, I hope we do stay up. I'm still going to believe. I don't really know what's happened to people's belief in this team. Everyone's saying, oh, it's, um, it's game over, and I've gone down. Well, um, where was we were we two seasons ago then at Wembley? When everyone was shouting hashtag believe when we were 2 0 down. And last season when everyone was saying believe. And at Brighton when we won all. You know, the belief shouldn't stop just because your team were on a bad run at the minute. I mean, the fans got behind the place today and it was 2 1. Could have had that all the way through. We didn't. It was dead halfway through. You know, so, you know, we go to Swansea. I am going the whole city away. So I'll be there. So that'll be a great game to go to. Just purely because I love going to Hull City away. I don't know what it is about Hull City, but for some reason I love their stadium. I think the fans are absolutely terrific on a match day. So I am really, really looking forward to that game. But obviously we've got another game before. We do have a tough game, a Swansea away, which I was going to try and make. I was going to go down the plane, but um, no, it was just too much money to go down there. It was ridiculous to go to Swansea. So obviously, you know, we go down to Swansea and uh, we have to go... In search for a win, let's just hope we get it. The review, I mean, the review, the review, no, the preview for Swansea will be out obviously after the international break. Um, but yeah, as for England, England game Wednesday, Germany. So let's hope for some positivity and let's see us get a win there. But um, as for Middlesbrough, we've got to hashtag believe it and just keep believing all the way through. Steve Agnew. Unfortunate about the 3-1 today, but listen, he had a great debut. He did what he did what he wanted to do, and he brought a goal. He got brought a goal today, so you know credit to him. Let's just let's just get behind the team. Let's hashtag believe it on all social media. Let's get that going again. Get it trending, and let's uh, just get behind the butter and go on the Swansea up the butter.